Sie glauben, mit Jason Bourne hat sich die Geschichte erledigt? Da läuft noch viel mehr. Look, if you're a fan of the other three movies, this is going to satisfy you in a lot of ways because it answers a lot of questions that were posed in those first three films, especially Born Ultimatum, as it happens concurrently with this movie. And if you haven't seen any of those other movies, you could still um, be thrilled by the uh, this ferocity of action and interesting characters and tremendous actors. And Jason Bourne made so much trouble in Born Ultimatum that it's causing enormous problems for the people who created the program and we find out that Edward Norton has been sitting beside you in the theater on all watching all previous three films and he's got a huge problem now with Jason Bourne going public and he has one other program uh, called Outcome which is an upgrade program uh, and Jeremy Renner Aaron Cross is part of that program and it's the one program that's going to have to be uh, eliminated to keep the peace es gibt nichts was sie für dieses land nicht tun würden Sie haben die Kraft zu tun, was nötig ist. Wie geht es ihm? Er ist bereit. Ah, oh, das ist gut verheilt. Was halten Sie von dem, was wir da draußen machen, Doktor? Born Ultimatum is playing, the events of Born Ultimatum are playing in the background of the first 15 minutes of our film. So Jason Bourne going public, Jason Bourne shooting up New York, it's all happening in the background. Um, for the first piece of our film, yeah. Were you a fan of the movies before you got, got, got involved, just as a moviegoer? Yeah. yeah, big time, absolutely. Big fan of these, these movies and the style of filmmaking. Rem reminiscent of um, the movies that I really love from the 70s. Jeremy told, told me that he really is into like 70s movies yeah. and he's really impressed by 70s action movies, yeah. which were also quite realistic and not yeah. so over the top, not all that CGI stuff going on. I'm sure there's some CGI stuff in this, but you, it don't, doesn't feel like a, like a big effects movie right. CGI wise. Do you have any favorite action scene, not action movie, but action scene from the movie? history that, that you... Oh God, these questions yeah. are always hard. Because when you leave, I'll think of 90 different <laughs> things. I always, but I, I, I will say, I agree with Jeremy. Those are the movies, those movies in the 70s, that era of filmmaking is the f area of filmmaking that, that, that really speaks to me. And, and, and I think it's for a different reason. I think that, that you had the best people, the best craftspeople, the best actors and writers, the people who are now all working on huge franchise, you know, uh, movies, working on essentially independent, you know, ambitious, creative, eccentric ideas. So the mix of, 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 uh, of professionalism and competency and talent mixed with interesting ideas, I think that really only happened in the 70s. Um, you mentioned your love for all the 70s movies. Yeah. Do you have a favorite action scene, not an action movie, but a favorite action scene from any movie that comes to mind that you would say that, wow, that's one of the Well, like the car chase scene, yeah, car, yeah, car chase scene in French Connection, I think, is, is one of the, the greatest in, in cinema history for, for a lot of reasons, you know. Um, considering the time that they were shooting, and um, it, just, it just gave me a, a really strong framework for what I think, or the movies I kind of want to do. The times they spent with that, with character, then you care about the people in that car, otherwise it's just a really cool car chase. Was it physically a challenge or was it more like in the acting scenes a challenge? Was it like you, you did quite a share of action movies by now yeah. and is it like okay I can do that uh, or is it still equally interesting to do the action stuff as do the like real acting stuff? Um, there is a great importance I think to the sort of acting scenes if you will in this movie because you know there's not a lot of them but they were very very important to have these characters now be accessible to the audience so we know who the heck they are so then you give what you care about them when when uh, the uh, action scenes happen so I mean there's there's that as it being a level of importance makes it you know challenging because you don't want to mess those up and then the action stuff some things I've done before some I've worked with all these people before there's a great trust and but everything was a challenge everything's different and um, um, yeah, I loved it all. I loved it. All. I mean, there's a lot, lot more time spent on the physical preparation because it just needed to be. It just needed to be, especially the fighting. I'm, I'm sure because there's some amazing uh, fights are going on there.
Hey, schon gut, schon gut. Ich bin's. Wollen Sie weiterleben? This movie has been in development quite a long time. Um, it has, I think it, it has some alterations made. Was there, was there uh, ever any consideration to just recast Born and not have oh, some, someone else come in or...? I think that they, I was outside of that. I, I wasn't part of all that. They, after Ultimatum, I was very much outside of the team Born. Um, I think that they tried to figure out what to do to try to make a sequel with Jason Bourne. I think they couldn't figure out uh, what to do. I never worked on that on that problem. Uh, they came to me when it was all over. What do we do now? And I, I was very much a, you. I, I don't think you could recast Jason Bourne. I don't think that works. I don't think for, for Bond. I don't. But Bond is a very different thing. Bond is. Is it more fun to do stuff like that compared to like a big effect movie like the Avengers? I, I, I guess this movie has effects too, but it's the the look is more real, more gritty, mm -hmm. and at the Avengers it's like all the CGI stuff happening yeah. time. But they are both great directors. So what's yeah. what's what's the difference working on either of them? Different costume, I guess. Um, when I was born, Arrow, um, it, it different um, fun. Yeah, they're both fun for different reasons though. One's sort of a fantasy. Um, you know, I'm skipping to work because. We're gonna go make believe and play. You know, it's it's not so serious. There's nothing really sort of gravitas about it. You just kind of go in and have some fun. And um, this one is, is uh, a bit more challenging uh, as an actor. There's, there's a bit more to do there. Das ist Aaron Cross. Eine Bewertung wie seine haben wir noch nie zuvor gesehen. Er ist Treadstone ohne Komplikationen. Ich habe innerhalb des Programms nie jemanden kennengelernt. Wie viele von uns gibt es? Du stellst zu viele Fragen. Jason Bourne ist in Manhattan. Das ist bestätigt. Was? Mehr weiß ich nicht. Ich muss jetzt los.